For us to realize that we can stop holding our breath because we have gone through so much. You're trying to swim through the dirty water and not drink any of it because you're trying to be a believer. You're trying to uh, 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 stay close to God and you're, you're, you're trying to do the right thing. You're trying to not be contaminated. But Jesus said, let me show you myself. Come into my presence just for a bit or just for a little moment so that you can exhale. The second wind says this in John chapter 20, verse 19 through 22. Then the same day at the evening, for being the first day of the week, when the doors were shut, the disciples were assembled for the fear of the Jews. Jesus came and stood in the midst and said to them, peace be with you. When he said this, he showed them his hands and his side. Then the disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. How many of you are glad when God shows up? Amen. So then Jesus said to them again, peace be to you. Two times, two is the number of divinity. As the Father has sent me, I also send you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, receive the Holy Spirit. Receive the Holy Spirit. Amen. Oftentimes, once again, when we're going through life and we're out of breath, amen, and we're wondering what is happening to us and, 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 and we're just kind of just stumbling through and, and, and we're just exhausted. You have to allow for the Holy Spirit to breathe into you once again. Amen. Thank you, Holy Spirit. <laughs> Take a deep breath and keep pushing past your pain, past your exhaustion, past how you feel. You won't get the second wind unless you do. Let me repeat that. You won't make it around that last lap unless you push past the pain past the exhaustion past the I don't want to do it any longer spirit past the but he hurt me <laughs> past the but she hurt me past the but he didn't say that he was sorry he may never say it you need to accept that once you push past that then the second wind will kick in or that's when the Holy Spirit will give you life again you exhale but holding your breath is one thing not taking anything in is another both of them will allow for you to suffocate you can't hold it all in and you can't give it all out it needs to be a constant process of you filling yourself with the Holy Spirit over and over again, breathing. Allow for God to breathe into you. The wind, the Holy Spirit, when the Holy Spirit comes in, it'll come in like a mighty rushing wind. You know how like sometimes the football players, were, when they've ran a long touchdown and they've scored, the first thing that they'll do is that they'll get some water, or some Gatorade and they'll sit down and rest and then they'll put an oxygen mask on their face and start breathing in deeply. Why? Because they're out of breath. God is trying to teach all of us that sometimes you need to sit down and rest in his presence so that he can breathe into you so that you can get your breath again so that you can keep on running, 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 running so you can run the race. You won't get your second win unless you push past the pain, past your exhaustion, and past how you feel. How you feel has nothing to do with obedience to God. When people catch the revelation of that, I don't feel like saying I love you, but when you do it anyway, then you're obeying God. I don't feel like getting out of bed and worshiping God this morning before I go to this hellish job. But when you do it anyway, you're showing God that you're not being swayed by your circumstances. You're the one who sets your own atmosphere. Amen. Uh, well, when, you, when you need your second winner, when you need to push past all, all the different types of moments in life where, where you just feel like you're all alone and you got to do this all by yourself. Remember, God is omnipresent. In other words, he's letting you know that there is no way that you can get away from him. He's everywhere and here all at the same time. 
you need to stop holding your breath and holding it all in before you explode or pass out from the things of life. And likewise, you can't give everything out or else you'll be exhausted and you won't have anything else left for your family, your, your children, or those that love you because you're always out of gas trying to please everybody. Two extremes. Notice how it says in the very first beginning when I gave you that whole little uh, uh, description of the second wind. It says that it's when the body cannot balance oxygen with lactic acid. The Bible says that we should balance ourselves or we should do things in moderation. In other words, you need to have the Holy Spirit so that it can balance out your flesh. When the Holy Spirit is there to balance out your flesh, then you'll be able to get your second wind. 